Hey guys, it's Sonia. I am sitting here in my car about to go into Whole Foods, so I figured I would bring you guys along. I've had several people ask me about Whole Foods, how it is to shop there, what all they have. So I figured <clears throat> I would just bring you guys along with me. One note, if your Whole Foods is in a busy area, do not come here during lunchtime. It is 1239 and the parking lot is jam-packed and I had to wait for a parking spot, which just should not be the case to go grocery shopping. But anywho, we're going to run ahead inside. Hopefully you'll get a glimpse at uh, some of the items they have along with some of the prices. I won't be talking in there because it's going to be odd enough running around with a camera. But I really wanted to share with you guys what it's like. So I'll see you inside. Okay, here we are entering Whole Foods. Just grab my cart and we, when you enter, you enter in the produce section like you do most grocery stores. They also have fresh flowers there. But I love Whole Foods produce section. They just have a very large variety of organic produce which I absolutely love I mean you can get organic broccoli celery carrots bok choy spinach um, all type of greens turnips beets uh, everything you can find organic you can also find conventional produce here but I love the selection of organic produce that they have they have all the different kinds of you know colors of peppers and everything. There's some fresh bunches of kale. And here you have lots of berries. They have conventional and organic. Here's a refrigerator case with cut up fruit and guacamole and some cider. And they also have baby spinach and coconuts and things like that over there in that refrigerator case. But here are your potatoes and onions and everything. Most things that you would find in your regular grocery store, it's just that they have a pretty large selection of organic items. And here I am picking up some ginger root. They have some pretty unique things over here like sugar cane. I think that's pretty unique. And here I am picking up some kombucha. They have lots of different uh, flavors of kombucha, some with chia seeds, some without, but Whole Foods is definitely my favorite place to get my kombucha. And here's some cheeses. Whole Foods has tons of cheese. There's more cheese and crackers. And right ahead, you can see the um, freezer case. They also have uh, freezer case of seafood. They also have fresh seafood as well. Pretty good variety. You can even get squid and octopus. <laughs> they have an olive bar that you just saw. It's pretty good. And they have a pretty good alcohol selection. But here we are going over to the meat case. You see they have some patties and things already made out for you. Um, some things soaking in teriyaki sauce or marinating, as I should say, and sausages and bacon and links. And here is your beef. They have pretty good sales on their meats. More beef. And here is the pork. And there is lamb. And here's your chicken and turkey and things like that. You'll also see your ground chicken and turkey. And then here are your prepackaged meats. Chicken and turkey and there's bacon over in this case. Like I said, Whole Foods does have a lot, a lot of organic meat, which I really like and appreciate. They also have non-organic meat but the animals are fed by their standards. So here's another case with um, breakfast sausage, 
links and patties and more alcohol refrigerated and here is more wine and beer and such i do believe that they are expanding their wine and beer selection they're remodeling this whole foods by the way and there are some kale chips there so yeah you'll see a lot of things on rollers these big racks on rollers so i guess they could just move things easily at night there's some protein powder i think you also saw some hats back there but you can refill your water jugs here here's um your pet food and your bottled water and your laundry care items are all down this aisle and there are some coconut water, I believe, and your paper products and candy bars. And now we're coming up on the coffee. Straight ahead are some bread that they sell. And here are your uh, whole coffee beans that you can package and grind here at Whole Foods if you like. They have a pretty good selection of coffee and tea. You will see the tea here. I love their teas because, like I said, they have a large selection. And you can find lots of organic and conventional teas here. Here are your crackers. They have all different kinds of crackers. Saltines, sprouted crackers, um, anything you're looking for. There are some... Um, hemp milk and, and almond milk there. Here are your soups. They also have soups in the carton, which I really like. And uh, they also have, you know, like your uh, veggie broth and stock in cartons. And here are your whole grains, packaged whole grains, your quinoa, brown rice and such and some bottled soda. They also have Vitamixes here at Whole Foods. So here we come with our salad dressings and more candy bars and energy bars and protein bars. <laughs> and your condiments and salad dressings here. Um, mustard, ketchup, relish, pickles, mayo, all that good stuff, um, olives, sriracha, all of your condiment needs here. Here are the nuts and seeds and dried fruits. They have a pretty large selection. These are some of my favorite pumpkin seeds here. These super seeds, these were the spicy ones, and I really like to put those in my salad. Okay. Here are your um, Asian and Mexican foods and packaged mac and cheese. And straight ahead, oh, here are some canned beans. Um, they also sell beans in the cartons. There are some tomato sauces and pastas over there as well. And down here are the snacks, the popcorn chips, and also the baby items. You can get diapers, wipes, baby food, all of those things here at Whole Foods. They also have juice, juices down this aisle. They have a pretty big ju juice selection, as you can see here. They have some organic, non-organic. They have juices from concentrate, some that are not. They have, um, you'll see some beet juice if you're interested in trying beet juice. Uh, that one was new to me. It's a new brand. You'll see it here shortly. I was picking up some grape juice for my kombucha concoction that I'm whipping up at home. Uh, here is the new brand that I was talking about. I'm not familiar with this, but I see that they do have different varieties, one being beet. Looks like it's 
beet apple, maybe? I'm not rushing to try that. So yeah, they have lemonade, fruit juice, all of that, salsas, uh, chips. I'm going back to show you my favorite popcorn. I don't have a microwave. I pop my popcorn the old-fashioned way on the stove. And this popcorn, this heirloom popcorn is great. And here is some soap. This good soap is really good. It's three for six dollars. Not not a bad price at all. It's very good soap. They also sell bath salts there. Lots of bath and body items. Here is some cereal. Good and the bad. Um, there are some baking items. Your flour, your um, chocolate chips, your baking soda, baking powder, all of that. And there are your spices. There's more pasta in your oils olive oil, walnut oil, coconut oil, all of that. These are some juices that I've seen people use quite often when they're doing a detox juice fast. Not the naked juices, but the other juices up top. They are quite expensive, but I hear they're pretty good. I've tried some of them and they do taste good. And here is the freezer section here and they have prepared um, dinners or lunches like you see in most grocery stores they do have some unique brands that I do believe are exclusive to Whole Foods but some of these will probably look familiar I've seen them at Target even so and here are the frozen treats your ice cream and um, they have soy ice cream and coconut ice cream here they also have you know your frozen veggies and fruits and all of that so the Whole Foods brand is 365 so if you see that that is Whole Foods own brand and as you can see they also sell clothing I believe the, the a lot of the clothes that they sell are made with organic cotton so here are your baby needs your baby uh, wash your baby your vitamins for your baby or your children there are some little onesies for the babies and here we're coming into the bath and body and also um, supplement area so wow. here you will find your um, personal hygiene, your pain relief, your homeopathic needs, all here. They have a really, really large selection of vitamins and herbs and supplements and all of those things. Your toothpaste, toothbrushes, gums, um, all of your oral hygiene care you can find here. Lots of different brands to choose from. There are hand soaps, um, body soaps, body washes, shampoos, conditioners. They have hair dye. I've not tried any of the hair dye, but they have quite a few to choose from here. Any um, lotions, they have powder, shaving cream. You see all these women standing down here because we're getting close to the uh, makeup and the essential oils. They have an okay selection of makeup. They have a really good selection of um, essential oils. They also have fingernail polish. Um, your, your beauty needs, you know, your moisturizers, eye creams, all of that they have. You can see they even have greeting cards and cookbooks and such. So, yeah. So here we are going into the dairy aisle, which is pretty standard, but it is pretty large because, like I said, Whole Foods carries both organic and conventional. So they have a pretty good selection of both. You know, your milk, your cheese, your uh, hummus is over there, your um, eggs, juices, this is 365. This is the type of milk that 
I buy usually for my family. And here are your um, soy food in your vegan item. So it's tofu over there and vegan cheese and vegan ace and all of that, just mayo, all of that's in that case. And so here's your milk and your cottage cheese, cream cheese, ricotta. Like I said, there are eggs and juices, orange juice, yogurt. Over here are sprouted breads and sprouted bagels. They have a pretty large selection here. And here are your yogurts. And then Whole Foods also has a hot food bar and a cold food bar. It's a hot food bar. They are serving lunch now, as you can see. I'm not sure what's all on this bar. I did see some beef and um, quite a few chicken dishes. There are some beets. And of course, there are quite a few vegetable dishes. I think they had tacos or either uh, baked potatoes. And they always have soup. Um, I do believe I saw chicken cacciatore, and I also saw some fish that you will see. And I know that I saw baked chicken. There's some steamed kale there. But yeah, I like to try things on their hot bar sometimes. They also have one for breakfast. And here's the salad bar. They have a pretty good assortment of greens for you to choose from. And then all of your standards, you know, your tomatoes broccoli, cucumbers. They also have quinoa salads, a couple, and noodle salads, and I think that they have tuna. So they have a pretty good cold bar as well. They also sell sandwiches and wraps. And here is the um, items behind the counter here. All of these items are cold, so you could take them home and just heat them up, you know, for dinner or lunch or whatever. And here is the sushi bar. Whole Foods has a pretty large selection of sushi here. And they have different bowls. They have um, salmon bowls, teriyaki bowls, a portobello mushroom bowl, noodle bowls, all kinds. And you can also eat at Whole Foods. They have a little area for you to sit down and eat your meals. They have rotisserie chickens, organic or conventional. They have prepared pizza. We're walking towards the bakery so you can see a few bakery items here. Uh, they also sell some hot sandwiches and gelato. I've never tried the gelato, but it looks really good. I'll have to try it one day. Here are the bakery items. They're all kind of cookies and donuts and um, biscottis, just all kind of um, goodies over here. Fresh bread. They have pies and cakes. This is the bulk section over here, which I love. You can make your own uh, peanut butter, almond butter over there. Here's another look at the cakes. Don't they look yummy? They look really, really good. You can get your birthday cake made at Whole Foods. Well, they have all kind of muffins and they have individual slices of cakes and pies as well. But here is the bulk section. You can get all kind of bulk items, nuts, grains, flowers, seeds, candy, uh, beans, peas. This is one of my favorite sections. You could come to Whole Foods just to try it out. All right, you guys, I did it. I managed to take you guys shopping with me. It wasn't too bad. People didn't look at me too strange. It was almost as if some of them were kind of used to people taking pictures and filming in Whole Foods. Um, gosh, they have moved things around so much. I knew that they were remodeling and I thought that they were almost complete with the remodel, but then I was talking to someone and they said they don't expect to be finished until around September or October. So things are a lot different in there but I hope you guys enjoyed the tour I hope it gave you a glimpse of what Whole Foods is like it's just like any other grocery store except they have more unique items probably that you're not accustomed to they have probably everything that you see at your 
regular grocery store and more they have unhealthy items too I don't think people realize that but they do so you still have to be careful um, and shop here with caution but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it, it encourages encouraged you to go out and see what Whole Foods is about thanks for watching I'll talk to you guys later bye